In this demo, we'll take a quick look at the demo of auto ML tables. This is now part of something called Vertex AI. As always, go to cloud.google.com. Make sure you're in the right account. If not, click on the top right to change your account and click on go to console. So there are a few APIs that we need to enable for this. So the first one is go to APIs and services library. The first one is auto ML. So cloud auto ML API. Enable this. The next one that we want to enable is vertex. So search for vertex. Vertex AI API. So enable this. And the last one we want to enable is cloud storage. So search for clouds. storage so we want to enable cloud storage api it's all it's, it's already enabled uh, but um, if not you'll have a enable button so use that so this demo uses the bank marketing open source data set which is available through a creative commons CCO public domain license. The column names have been slightly updated for clarity and the URL for this bank marketing open source data set is available in the resources section. So let's start by visiting the Vertex AI to begin the process of creating the data set and training the model. So search for Vertex, go to the Vertex AI and go to data sets or you can even use create data set from here or go to data sets and click on create give a name any name i'm going to use quick data set and this is uh, of type tabular data and we want to do regression and classification region is your central you have a few different regions to choose note that there are less regions here which is where the vertex AI is available i'm going to leave everything as is and click on create okay now data source you have a few different options you can upload a csv file from your computer or you can select a csv from cloud storage or select a table of view from bigquery we are going to use cloud storage you can of course download that file and use it as well but for ease i'm using cloud storage and this is there in the resources uh, the marketing um, csv file that i was mentioning earlier so put this file name here you will get a tick here that says that there is a file there you can click on browse as well and it's going to show you what's there in that you can choose and say continue okay so it's been loaded and the total number of columns is 17 but it's not actually gotten any data from it it's just loaded the number of columns you can click on generate statistics it's going to take a bit of time uh, to show some details around what the distinct values are and how much percentage is missing in for a particular column you can take a look at the file yourself to see all these things uh, or you can click here and go to that file as well and download it now the next step is to train a new model so click on train new model and the data set is quick data set and we want to train classification is fine we want to do auto ml training click on continue and model name is say we want to give quick training you can give any name target column we want to check whether 
a customer is likely to make a deposit or not. So that's the target column. There are, of course, advanced options. If you're, if you're used to training models and stuff, you can do all these. We will leave it as it is. Continue. Just click on continue. 17 columns are included. And we want to give maximum one hour. That's the that's the minimum you can give only in increments of one hour. And as you can see, it's going to complete by 10 a.m. It's uh, about 8.53 a.m. So it's going to take about an hour and you will get an email uh, and it will stop. So once the training is complete, your compute time for the free tier, tier is stopped. So the next time it will start using up the time from the free, free tier is when you deploy the model, which will come back to. So click on start training. And so this is going to take an hour or so. So I'll pause the video. And once the training is complete, I'll come back here. Um, you can close this window as well and, and, and uh, go uh, do your other things while the training is complete. Uh, no problem. It is doing this in the background. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Okay, now I'm back and uh, the model has completed its training. So if I go into this, I can see that the training is complete. So the other thing that you also uh, would be getting, if I go into my emails, I can also see that uh, Vertex AI finished training model uh, quick training. So you get this email. So as you can see, this was sent 22 hours ago. So I've, um, I'm completing this recording a day after I did the training. And also if um, you have closed the browser window, that's fine. You can always search for Vertex, go to the Vertex AI page. And then here you can see the uh, data sets, the tra uh, training models, uh, etc. here as well. And also on the left, data sets and training. And the other thing I also wanted to quickly show before we move on to the next step is uh, we press the generate statistics. And so you can see that statistics have been generated. So it's giving some distinct values around age. There are 76 distinct values. 7168 distinct values on the balance and so on and so forth. Uh, also, if you go into training here on the left side, you can also see that the uh, training model is complete. Uh, the status has succeeded and uh, it took about one hour and nine minutes. So remember you have six hours of free time. So one hour is done here. Uh, we'll spend some time in, uh, in deploying the model, but that's about it. Um, and you also have $300 uh, of credit that you can use for this if you have recently signed up to Google Cloud. So go into the training model. And here you can see some details around what the model has learned. Now, this is more machine learning. So, so I'm not going to get into the details here. But as you can see, there are different uh, statistics here. Uh, you can see a curve, different curves here in terms of what it has learned from the data set. Uh, the predictions, uh, so uh, the prediction label is, if, if it's one means they won't do a deposit, if it's two means they will do a deposit uh, and there's something called a confusion matrix. So um, all this is machine learning stuff. And the importance that it's given is more to the duration of how long the account has been held. Um, the least it's given to things like marital status and stuff like that in terms of whether a person will do a deposit or not. And you can also change the confidence threshold here. It's a sliding thing and you can see data changing. So we won't get into the details of all this. If you are into machine learning, you should be able to figure this out. What we are going to do is we are going to deploy and test this model. So click on deploy and test. So now to deploy this uh, model, we need to deploy it to an endpoint before we can start uh, testing it. So let's click on deploy to endpoint. So we can just 
give a name region you can choose what you want let's keep all this as it is continue keep everything as it is uh, let's keep the number of compute nodes in one so that uh, we use uh, less um, of our limits machine type you can change uh, we'll just use it as standard and let's click on done and deploy and it has started deploying and here you can start seeing that this is what you can test so you can actually change these values here once the model is deployed and then you can actually predict what the result is going to be whether the person will do a deposit or not so this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes so i'll pause the recording here uh, again and uh, i'll come back once the deployment is complete so now the deployment is complete as you can see there's a check check mark here and it's saying it's deployed and if you click on the sample requests it's going to show you how you can send sam sample requests using um, the gcloud sdk so simple thing in terms of prediction you can just put different values here so it has auto populated some values and if i click on predict so based on these values for these columns we'll see whether the deposit is um, one and the confidence score one means no deposit and the confidence score is uh, 99%. Uh, so you can change these values here. So here you can see that confidence score is 99.1167. But let's say if I change the age to say 24 with a balance of say 12,000 and you need to know what each of these values are so we're just going to see all the uh, keep all this and let's try a prediction again and there are of course columns here as well column twos as well and see here you can see that the confidence level has changed it's 97.6 percent that they won't do a deposit at these parameters so again you can use this to try out different um, different input values uh, to see how your model behaves okay cleanup so we have a few things to clean up so first thing is we will we want to delete this undeploy model so it will not delete the endpoint which we will delete so the model has been undeployed then we can go to endpoint and we can delete the endpoint or remove the endpoint. Endpoint is done. Model. So let's delete the model. Go to models. Delete model. Training. So we can remove the training pipeline here which go to pipelines so there should be nothing there and data sets and so let's remove this data set as well and then if I go to dashboard I should see nothing here so that's good and also as good practice just go back to the project and you can see that it has created a storage bucket so let's go into the storage and let's delete this bucket as well and that should take care of everything that we have created for this project so that was a quick demo of auto ml tables thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture